Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make a working vending machine. So let's get started. So first we're going to want to go and insert our part. And let's anchor it. So, so we're going to use a bunch of parts to make a vending machine. You can make it however you want. I'm just going to make a simple one. Let's set the color to black because a lot of vending machines are black. You can tone it down a little bit so it's like an earth blue. Now, now we're going to just build the base of the vending machine. So let's just bring it back. And we can use a dummy for scale. To make sure we don't make it too big or small. Now we should um, duplicate our brick and make the part where you type in all your buttons. Vending machines are usually pretty tall, so I'll make it like this tall. And then obviously we need our other little wall because it has a frame. And then let's just make the top of it. So now we have our basic frame of the vending machine. Really nice looking clean. Now we can start working on some of the details and more important parts. So first let's just put it back to make sure it looks complete. Now we need to start and build the part where the soda actually comes out of, or whatever you want. You can, so for this example, we'll use soda. So first we're going to want to, first we can leave this vending machine over here. First let's go and actually make our um, tool or whatever we want it to dispense. So for the sake of this, we're going to use soda. So first we need to see what size is, and I and I don't know how to get rid of these green dots. Just ignore them. They look really bad. But so we're going to insert our cylinder. Now let's try to make it look like a soda. There is a little glitch in Roblox Studio where you'll hold like a tool sideways, but just mess around with that and it should get fixed soon. So let's and make sure not to anchor whatever your tool is. So make sure anchored is equal to false. Otherwise, the tool will just make your flare get stuck. So now let's bring this up. Yeah, it looks like a good size. Now let's make this whatever color we want. We can use red soda. And then, now here's the important part. We have to name this to handle, otherwise it won't work. So handle capital hand handle with a capital h otherwise it just won't work and we can get rid of our dummy now leave it in workspace still until later so let's just put our soda over here for now next to the vending machine and let's just duplicate it once before and just name this back to whatever you want this one will just be um, an extra, you'll see why. So just leave the extra like all the way over there. Now we're going to want to make the ramp where the soda falls down from. So for that you want to go into here, insert a wedge. Since this is part of your build, obviously keep anchored on. We can rotate this around, just make sure it's 180 degrees. So it's kind of hard to get it through there. So you can just type 0, 180, 0, and it should get perfect. Now you can drag it into where the soda is supposed to come out. You can put this whatever color you want. Like, the color choice is completely personal. I'll just set it to black like the rest of the build. And then now you can kind of shape the ramp to your desire. So I'm going to do this. Looks pretty good. So now let's just build the frame around it. 
because this is like the bottom of the vending machine where it dispenses your soda or whatever you ordered. So you can go as crazy with the build as you want. I'm just doing it simple to keep this tutorial pretty short. Don't want to bore you with all the building. So here we have a nice little um, dispenser. Now we're going to... Let's just build the rest of it for now until we mess around with these sodas. So I guess we can make a cool like neon light because it is pretty dark right now for the build. Look cool. So let's bring this out. Let's set this like toothpaste. It's a nice bright color. And then uh, neon always lights things up. Bring this little thing up. Um, control Z and then Control D to duplicate, and then just bring this across. That looks cool, very futuristic. Yeah, again, you can design it to your desire. Now let's take um, let's make a shelf, and we can make this shelf like. A very pale gray, not a brown. So it's very easy to see. Let's drag this back, just like a vending machine would, and bring it down. Now we can also design the front glass because you don't want anyone breaking into your vending machine. So just do this. Bring it up right now, you won't be able to see anything, but let's change this to institutional white. It works the best. And then drag your transparency up to whatever you want. Like 0.7 is good for me. You can see nice into it. Now we're going to take our soda, but that's not named handle, just the extra duplicated one. Now let's um, name this. Now let's put it into our shelf. We can actually change, and make sure to keep it anchored, of course. Now we can change the name to, let's just name it Red, because it's our red soda, and leave it there in our vending machine. And this will just teach you how to do one thing, but you can add as many sodas or whatever you want, as much as you want. Now here's the most important part. We're going to take our handle part, and let's rotate it on our side. Just on its side, so just like how a vending machine would dispense it. So, let's just set this to zero, 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 which will turn it perfectly on its side. Now we're going to want to take our soda, and let's put it in within the slot, and make sure it's not colliding with any other brick, otherwise that will be a problem, and your soda will not work function as intended. So make sure it's just perfectly there, no collisions, and just sitting there. Now, let's go into replicated storage, and I can get rid of this. Let's hit plus, and then add a tool. So find tool, and then add one. Now you want to take your handle part and drag it into tool. It should disappear, as you can see here, and you can't move it around or anything. It's just stuck. And now we can name the tool whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to name this Red Soda. Now, we're also going to want to put in a button to make sure to dispense our soda. So let's drag this up. Bring this down. And let's make this bright red. So now we're going to start coding our button. So button is very important, so let's just name this um, button. So first let's go into our button, insert a click detector so it knows when it's clicked. And then let's add in our script. So now, 
for the script, what we're going to want to do is first make a function, an on click function. So let's say go function give soda, parentheses, and an end should pop. Now here's where we do our code. So first, we want the soda to appear and roll out of the vending machine so player can pick it up. So to do that, we're going to write game dot replicated storage dot red soda dot or um colon clone so um as far as i know i think one thing we messed up is dot um or it's not that um yeah we have to make sure this is one word forgot to do do that now this should work fine i can do dot red soda colon clone see now it comes up dot parent equal to game dot workspace so that's where we want to do it. now we're also going to want so that's going to dispense the soda but now we also want the soda within the vending machine to disappear to make it look like it's out of stock. For that, we would just go game dot workspace dot um or not comma game dot workspace dot red, which is our fake soda dot transparency equal to one. You don't have to turn off can collide since it's already inaccessible. Now we want the bu button to stop functioning. So for that, we just write um, script dot parent dot click detector dot max activation distance equal to zero. So it just doesn't work. Now we want to put a delay until the soda is restocked. So we can just write wait. So for me, I'll put 10 seconds and then let's um, make the soda visible again. So workspace dot red dot transparency is equal to zero. And then let's make our um, script dot parent dot click detector dot max activation distance is equal to 32 the normal again. Now we need to call when the function will happen. So let's write script dot parent or not whatever I wrote there parent dot click detector dot mouse click connect and then our soda so or our function so give soda so now we can just make sure to save it you don't want to lose your work and now we can go in and try out this code or try out this vending machine so let's click play, wait for it to load, this weird grid loading screen. Now, it just loads in. Now we can test it out. So we're going to go to our vending machine. Right now our inventory is empty. Now if we click the button, soda rolls out. We can pick it up, our red soda. Now it's out of stock. And this red soda we can drink, equip it. And now after 10 seconds, the soda is back. We can claim another one. Now while they're restocking, we can't use the vending machine. And it's just there. And then again, this will keep going on forever. Another soda comes out. So that's how to make a working vending machine in Roblox Studio. Hope you enjoyed and like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials like this. Bye.